Excuse me, but I've always wanted to do this. Buses for Springfield, Hilldale, Skinny Corners, now leaving at gate number seven. All aboard. It's a familiar sound. Approximately 22.2 million Americans travel by bus every year. Jordan Hicks works at one of the many depots to dispatch the buses, drivers, and passengers on their way. As they say, relax and leave the driving to them. But Jordan Hicks will soon have an experience that leaves him so unnerved, he's not about to leave the driving to anyone. I've been working as a maintenance man for the Madison Tour Bus Company for the past 10 years. My job was to make sure that each bus was spotless before it left the yard. But that morning, I had something else on my mind, something much more urgent. Sal, Sal, that's bus 29, has it left yet? No, no, 29 is not going up till 10.30. Have you seen La? He's in his office. Lyle, Lyle, I know this is going to sound crazy, but you got to stop us 29 from leaving this morning. <laughs> Why? Isn't it clean enough for you, Jordan? They're all going to die in there. What do you mean they're all going to die in there? Okay, I told you that this was going to sound crazy, but I had a dream last night that bus 29 had a horrible accident. A dream? Yeah. The McLaren Bridge went out. I was there, Lyle, trying to wave them down, but they wouldn't stop. Bus 29 went nose first right into the river. Nobody had a chance. They all drowned. Jordan. You know I can't stop a bus from going out because somebody had a bad dream. No, you don't understand. It was more than a dream. It was it was so real. It was it was like a like a premonition. Bus 29 is a Great Lakes tour. It's full load. And it will be leaving as scheduled at exactly 10:30 a.m. I can't let that happen, Lyle. Jordan Hicks, there's an emergency. Please let me in. I'm sorry. Mr. Masterson's busy right now. This is extremely important, Debbie. I have to see him. What's the big emergency, Hicks? You have to stop Bus 29 from leaving. I had a dream. It crashed. Everybody died. Please, Mr. Masterson, you can stop it. Are you out of your mind? That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. There's only ten more minutes left. Get back to work, Hicks. I'm busy. Nobody would listen, but I had to do something or the blood of all those innocent people would be on my hands. You're all gonna die. Get out of the way and let this bus leave, or you're gonna be in a whole bunch of trouble. What's going on? Jordan had some dumb dream that the McLaren Bridge went out and this bus goes down. Don't worry, folks. Uh, the bus will be leaving shortly. Uh, just a little scheduling problem. Get back in the bus and take off, Chet. You can still make the schedule. No, don't do it, Chet. You gotta believe me. You're all gonna die in there. Keep your voice down, you maniac. I can't do it, Lyle. I can't leave. Has everybody lost their mind around here? It was a dream! Because of you and your stupid dream, we're 15 minutes behind schedule with a bus full of angry people. They're demanding their money back. Now, you can either get on that bus and start driving, or you can find yourself another job. I won't do it. Lyle, get another driver. You're both fired. Mr. Masterson. Not now, Debbie. I'm busy. But you won't believe what I just heard on the radio. The McLaren Bridge just collapsed. My God. If I had left on schedule, we would have been right in the middle of that bridge. Schedule's an alternate route. 
and I gotta leave in about ten minutes. Chet, I need to ask you about something. Why'd you believe me when nobody else would? Because last night, I had the same dream you had. How is this possible? We've all had premonitions before. But can two people have the same dream at the same time? Or did the driver, Chet Carter, just imagine he had the dream after being upset by Jordan's warnings? Whatever the case, many lives were saved as a result. In telling this tale of Bus 29, have we reached the destination of truth? Or is this just another rest stop on the highway of lies? <laughs>